for everybody. Any questions? All right, let's do a simple question. It's right here, if you can zone in on that. The absolute value of negative 200 is? 200. 200, simple as that. Now, what about this, Taylor? The absolute value of negative 5 is? 5. 5. And then plus the absolute value of negative 6 is? 6. And the answer then is? 11. Good. It's real simple, right? Absolute value is always positive. This absolute value of negative 200 is equal to 200. Okay? Think of some examples of where absolute value is used um. in life. Anybody? Oh my. Scuba. Scuba diving. Right. Anybody been scuba diving? Hand up. Any scuba divers? Yeah, where have you been? Where have you, where have you gone? Mexico. Mexico? Scuba diving. That's pretty fun. It's fun, right? Did you go with tanks or did you just go like, you know, tanks? tanks the whole bit? Why okay, let's say Omabe went scuba diving and he went a thousand feet under. Now, if I want to know how far under did he go, how do I answer? What do I say? How many feet? How far did Omabe scuba dive under? Connor? Negative a thousand feet. You don't say that though, do you? <laughs> See, I, I wouldn't say he went a negative a thousand feet. He, you would just say he went how far? He went down a thousand feet. You could say he went down a thousand feet. Or you could just say if all we cared about was not the direction of the, of the way he went, just the amount of feet he went under. If that's all we cared about, we have just wanted the absolute value of his journey, what would we say? He went a thousand feet. If we want the absolute value, we don't care if he went under or over or whatever. If he went paragliding, you know, up in the air with the wind the other day in Malibu, I was down there, it was really windy. Yeah. Parasailing, yeah. And so they were, let's say they were traveling up 100 feet in the air. Okay? So there were paragliders or parasailers going 100 feet in the air, and there were divers going down uh, 100 down. If all we cared about was the far, how far they went up or down, we wouldn't say up or down. We would just say they went 100 feet. Above sea level, below sea level. If it's absolute value, it doesn't matter whether it's above or below. All you're looking for is the actual distance. It doesn't matter how far, um, up or down. Direction doesn't matter. Is that pretty clear? The absolute value, here we go. Negative, absolute value, negative six. Duh. Minus, absolute value, negative 10. Try that, everybody. Go ahead and try it. I'm gonna put another one up as well, okay? Absolute value. There we go. Negative absolute value, negative 2 plus 3, minus absolute value 2 minus 4. Try that, folks. Remember, the first thing you do inside the absolute value signs, and we'll go from there. All right, from here, we've got negative, the absolute value of negative 6, minus the absolute value of negative 10. What are we going to do, Charlie? What's the... Uh, um, I'd, uh, that'd be positive 6. Ah. I think it would be negative 2, because okay. the negative on the outside. All right, well, let's take it step at a time. Uh, Katrina? Okay, so I think like, what it basically means is the opposite of negative 6, so that would make it Okay, that's right. That's the absolute value of negative six is positive six. What happens to the negative sign? It's there. It's just there, and it doesn't move. It doesn't change. The absolute value of negative six gets processed first, and six is now the number. Okay. Uh, what about minus? We keep that minus. It doesn't change. We don't. Uh, this see, this is not a distribution onto that. That's what people get mixed up. These aren't parentheses, right, Ali? And Jonathan, they're not. So we have to go and get the absolute value of negative 10, which is equal to what? Kyra, what's the absolute value of negative 10? Right, so that's it, and we put 10. Look what, we've got a new problem. Again, step by step by step. Don't try to do too much at once. Take your time. Now, uh, what's negative 6 minus 10? Anybody know? Connor? No, you have to change that to a plus. Huh? Absolutely, this is negative 6 plus negative 10. That's called? Adding the inverse. And negative 6 plus negative 10 is equal to? Negative 16. Negative 16. Good for you. All right. So what's next? Anybody have any questions about that? Watch that on YouTube if you're not sure. Watch it over and over. Use your pencil and paper. Put it on pause. Make sure you understand it. And then go explain it to your parents how you do it. <laughs> Number, this one, negative, and then absolute value negative 2 plus 3 minus absolute value 2 minus 4. First of all, what do we have to do, Jonathan? What's our first step? Inside. I'm not sure about this oh, that's okay, but what do you guess? What's our first step in PEMDOTS? Always do inside the 
Parentheses, and in this case, same idea. These aren't parentheses, but we do what's inside of them. We do what's in it, inside whatever the grouping symbol is. Uh, Emily, so what do we get? Negative two plus three equals positive. Um, positive one. Uh, yes, that's right. That's equal to one. And notice, I'm not going to try to do too much here. I'm not going to solve the absolute value yet. I'm waiting till we're to the next step. I do it one step at a time. Don't rush. So, hey Taylor, what's two minus four? Is it positive or negative two? Negative two, right? Okay, because two minus four is the same as two plus negative four, right? So now, step by step, now we deal with the absolute values. Now we're basically where we were in this question. And what's the absolute value of negative one, Alara? One minus one. That's right, so that's negative one. The negative's still hanging around outside. It's not negative times, in, you know, Simon? What, we leave the minus sign here. What's the absolute value of negative two? Two. Good. Now, negative one minus two. Hmm. Looks like that's similar to this. What did we do for that one? Change, change. Change, change, change. Yeah. Change, change, change. I know, but I changed it. <laughs> Why should we be chained to the same melody? Um, <laughs> negative one minus two. <laughs> You're a knee slapper, Mr. Knight. Okay, it's a knee slapper, anyway. Uh, minus two. What do we do? Turn it to the pot. Oh, last time I checked, my name was Alara, but it's okay. And it's um, negative three. Negative three. Good job. Yeah. 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 Yeah.